What's up everyone, it's Liz. Today, I'm gonna show you how to edit the default settings in QuickBooks Online for your reports. So for example, let's say you run your p and on your balance sheet. By default, QuickBooks is gonna have it set for the prior month, but I'm gonna show you how to change that. This won't take long, so let's get started. So in QuickBooks, you're actually going to click right up here where it says accountant tools. If you do not see this screen, that's because you're not listed as an accountant on the account. So in order to change that, you would just have to have the admin user go here to gears, manage users. And instead of just being a user, they're going to have to add you on the accountant side and that should solve the problem. So from here, we go to accountant tools and under the tool section, I'm going to click report options. And as you notice, the default is set to last month, but let's say I want to change it to this month to date. And then you can also change the basis, which could be accrual or cash accounting. So let's say I want to change this to cash. You don't have to hit anything else. It is automatically going to save. So then if I go to the reports, now my report is going to default to this month to date. And as you notice, it's going to always be right here on cash accounting because that's what I chose. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, ciao.